the Kate Cheney Chapel 83 Center for Book Arts in the Brickman Library on the University of Maine campus hosts a special exhibit called Paper and Poetry, Collaborative Works of Art from Maine Artists and Poets. Rebecca Goodell, Program Coordinator, describes the exhibit. This is a new program at the university. It's only two years old. And this exhibition, Poetry and Paper, it has just opened on Sunday and will run through the end of April. This particular exhibition is on the seventh floor of the Glickman Family Library. And it is open during library hours, which are extensive. The uh, exhibition is uh, about Maine poets and Maine writers who've worked in collaboration with uh, the book as a vehicle for collaboration. The exhibition has 51 books in it, and I think it's, uh, I haven't really counted, but I think there's over 70 Maine poets and Maine artists involved in these collaborative book works. Is one that Steve Luttrell uh, collaborated on with Catherine Fisher. And this is a, a beautiful folder. And once you open it, it says One Eternal Round, Steve Luttrell. You see a set of four cards, and each of the cards has a poem that Steve wrote printed on each one. So the type design and the illustrations are all designed by Catherine Fisher. Beautiful uh, poetry and a beautiful presentation. Another book in the exhibition, one of several by Wolf Editions, which is owned by David Wolf in Portland, is a book that has the etchings of Alison Hildreth, a woman who lives in Falmouth and has a, an art studio in Portland, and uh, Portland poet Jonathan Aldrich. Here is a color illustration by Allison, beautiful type layout uh, by David, and also a gorgeous binding. This is an additioned book, and uh, beautiful to hold. Uh, this next book is called 100 Ways to Kill Each Other Without Using Nuclear Weapons. The paper was handmade by Richard Lee. The poetry is by Steve Stephen Petroff, who's from Topsom, and uh, the artist who assembled all this, made the book and designed it, did the uh, imagery, is Arlene Morris, another Midcoast artist. It's a uh, tactily rich, visually stunning, and uh, the poetry is remarkable. This next book is a poem by John Tagliabu, and uh, the book is designed and made by Jan Owen of Belfast, Maine, and it's called Renewal. It opens as a long accordion book, and the text continues on the reverse side of the book. The last book that I have brought out to show you is a book that's called Taking the Heat, a poem for two voices. It's an exuberant book. It's constructed and designed by Karen Spitfire with a poem by Barbara Maria. Both of these artists are from the Belfast area. This fan-like structure opens up in elaborate ways as you read through the, the uh, piece. I would love to hear this book read as uh, a piece with two voices, and uh, maybe someday I'll be lucky enough to, to experience it that way. The, the work is, is very diverse, and I think you'll enjoy coming to the show. The center has a series of workshops, lectures, and exhibitions throughout the academic year. And all of our uh, lectures and exhibitions are free and open to the public. I ask for help from poets and book artists throughout the state to help me gather books that fit that criteria. And I had help from Steve Luttrell, the Portland Poet Laureate, Catherine Fisher, a Falmouth book artist, Jan Owen, a book artist in Belfast, Maine, a poet in the Brunswick area, Gary Lawless, and book artist Nancy Levitt in Stillwater.
Paper and poetry, collaborative works of art from Maine artists and authors runs through April 30th and is at the seventh floor of the Glickman Family Library on the University of Southern Maine's Portland campus. On April 23rd at 4 p.m. on the seventh floor of the Glickman Family Library in the events room, there will be a lecture and poetry reading. The lecture uh, will be Susan Webster, one of the artists in the exhibition, talking about her work and Stuart Kestenbaum, a poet from Deer Isle, who will be reading poetry. After that event, there will be an exhibition reception, and this is free and open to the public. On April 24th, which is a Saturday, from 10 to 4, Susan Webster and Stuart Kestenbaum will be offering a workshop for the Center for Book Arts in the Wish Camper Center on the Portland campus, and that is a, a fee based workshop and in that workshop the uh, two team teachers will talk about how to use poetry and imagery together. If you have uh, interest in that workshop please contact me at 228-8014. Thank you, hope to see you at the exhibit. On the campus of the University of Southern Maine in Portland this is Steve Hrocek reporting for Community Update.